All right, MMA fans, I'm here with Professional Fighters League Challenger Series fighter, Helen Peralta. Hello, Helen. How are you today? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, thanks for asking. And hopefully the internet connection uh, will uh, will last and we can record this, this interview. <laughs> um, you are already in Orlando. How How is your fight week going? It's going pretty good. Nice and relaxed. You know, I, I'm usually very busy and fight week is usually the best week for me because I am away from home, away from all of my problems and responsibility. So I just chill here. I, you know, stretch and do a little self-care, take pictures, you know, hang around. It's, it's always nice. Fight week is always good for me. Uh, that's good to hear. And uh, I'm glad you're enjoying fight week. Uh, have you already started cutting weight? Uh, no, I'll, I'll do I'll do it tonight. Um, I only have to do four and a half pounds, so it's it's fine. Uh, and I sweat re I sweat a lot, so I might not even do anything hot. I just put the plastic on and I, and I jump rope a little bit, and and that helps. Last night I I cut five pounds jump rope, so I can have a big dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm not gonna I'm gonna have a small lunch today, and then that's it. Then no no big dinner tonight, and then that way I don't have to work. To, to get the way off. Okay, okay. I know that uh, sometimes uh, weight cutting is uh, a very big challenge for you fighters, sometimes even bigger than the fight. So again, I'm glad to hear ev everything is on point. Uh, you are uh, in good spirits. So I'm guessing that you're pretty prepared uh, to take on uh, Lisa Moldrin uh, on Friday. Oh, 100%. I actually just saw her in the in the hallway because I haven't seen her and there was no picture of her the first time they posted and I was too busy, but now I have more time. So I saw her. I'm like, oh, she looks a little bigger. So I hope she doesn't have a problem with her uh, weight cut. I'm actually a strawway fighting a flyway. Like I'm, I'm going to stay a flyway because it's so much easier. You don't kill yourself and you can perform 100%. Some of these girls that are a little bit bigger, they have problems cutting weight sometimes. So hopefully there will be no problem there because I really need this fight. So what do you think about her now that you saw her? Well, I haven't watched her fights yet. I'll watch after I eat tomorrow. Um, but, you know, if she wasn't good, she wouldn't be here. That's So I know she's got to be good. If she wasn't, she, PFL would not have bring her in. So I know she's good. I know she comes from a wrestling heavy, heavy camp. I, I heard she's a striker. But I, I haven't seen I haven't seen her fights yet. But I'm a striker, so I don't have a problem with that. If she wants to strike, uh, I'm more than happy. Easy money for me. Uh, I think she's gonna want to wrestle because that's the only way anybody can hang out hang out with me in there. Um, and that's that's pretty much what I'm expecting from her. If she decides to strike, and even better, everybody likes to to watch a striking battle. Like most fans don't understand grappling, you know. So they think it's boring when they see people grappling. They don't understand what's happening. So. And since this, I just found out this is a popularity contest. Uh, I don't want to grapple because, you know, it's no point. No, no matter how good your <laughs> submission is, people are always going to go for the knockout. You're pretty modest about your striking skills and with the fact that you're pretty accustomed to, to striking in general. You competed in Bernacle uh, uh, a few years ago and you switched between uh, Bernacle boxing and uh, uh, MMA for a while so allow me to ask how was it for you you know to test yourself in uh, both disciplines oh bare knuckle is so easy like bare knuckle is so easy I know that I'm like oh that's something I can do later on in life like in my 40s uh, <laughs> but MMA is really hard you know the wrestling that you, you really all that joint manipulation people picking you up and dropping you like all that impact really takes a toll in your body so MMA, you have to do when you're young. So I decided I'm going to focus on MMA now because it requires all my attention. So you are not closing the door for a bare knuckle boxing return somewhere in the future? Oh, oh yeah. After, I mean, after this fight, if they don't have an opponent for me right away, I want to make a quick stop at BKFC and beat the shit out of their champion again because she runs her mouth a lot. And I, put, I want to put this whole fist in her mouth, like the whole thing. Oh, it's, it's, it seems personal for you, this one. Uh, yeah. No, it's personal for her, and I want to entertain it. 
<laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Well, we'll see what the future has in store for you. Uh, you spoke about your opponents. I know that you uh, already know one of the fighters who is going to compete next Friday too, uh, since you faced her on the Ultimate fi uh, Fighter uh, Season 30 edition. And of course, I'm referring to uh, Caitlin Neal. Um, how is the relationship between the two of you? Oh, I like her. She's pretty cool. And when we were in the tough house, she was one of the only, the only other person that actually clean after herself. And I really appreciate that. She was really organized. She was very respectful. So I like her. And I think she's kind of cute too. So I don't have a problem there, but definitely I want, I want to fight her again because I think she lost that fight and I think she knows that. Yeah, yeah that was a narrow split decision victory for her. Yeah, and uh, you know, perhaps uh, you two will have the, the occasion to fight again in the upcoming regular season uh, you told me that you are you are down to it right i am what you are down to face her again right oh yeah for sure i'll face her tonight if she wants like <laughs> i i always wanted that but I, but there's no animosity like it's nice it's out of respect you know i just feel like uh, i have too many questions about the fire and i want those questions answered maybe she'll kick my ass maybe she'll finish me last uh, first round but we need to i need i need to check that off my list I can move on you know if it happens I, I want it to happen quickly now like in, you know when we're older uh, but it's all out of respect I love the girl I think she's really cool yeah indeed indeed so um, you know in, uh, in preparation for uh, your fight did you do anything in particular uh, your in relation to your past uh, training camps um I work mostly on my striking. I did do some wrestling uh, here and there, but it was hard to find people my size. And I didn't want to risk getting injured because that's how you get injured. It's wrestling the bigger guys, you know, because it, size matters. And sometimes in the wrestling uh, mat, like after an hour of wrestling, everything is all slippery. I'm like, I don't want to take any risks. So I did mostly striking and jujitsu and not so much wrestling like I usually do because this time I didn't have any girls in my camp. No girls, mm -hmm. zero. I always help everybody, but when it's my turn, if they don't have a fight coming up, they won't show up to train. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to get hurt. So I had I had a couple of smaller guys I went with, and then but then if they they didn't have fight coming up either, so if they weren't in class and I show up, and then I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna go with the bigger guys. I'm just gonna work on the jujitsu and my striking. I did mostly those two things. So if she gets a takedown, she's getting submitted. If she decides to stand and bang, I'm all pro it because that's my bread and butter. I'm sorry to hear that none of your female sparring partners uh, showed up for your camp. It's not instead. new. It's not new. It happens all the time. But that's something I want to stop doing. I'm always driving around helping everybody. And I, most of these girls, they only train when they have a fight coming up. I, that's insane to me. I train year round. I train all the time, all year. That's my job. And also, I started late to train a, a mixed martial arts. So I have so much to learn. I can't afford to sit out until I get a fight and then go train for six weeks. No, that's not how it works. I train all the time. I train five to six days a week when I don't even have fights coming up because that's how you get better. So you do you think that your mentality makes you stand apart from the others? Oh, 100%. I, for me, this is something I love to do. Uh, most of the time, people are like nervous and stressed on fight week. This is the best week because it's finally here. The things I've been waiting for is finally here. I know people concerned sometimes like, oh, if they're nervous about their opponent. Like, I'm a striker, so I know she's probably worried. Like, oh, I don't want to get knocked out. I don't want to look bad. Don't worry about people on the outside. They're not in there with you. They're not putting, you know, if you have a bad day at work, we wouldn't know. When, when <laughs> fighters have a bad day at work, the whole world knows. So, so, you know, you have to be comfortable with that. You have to know that you might become a meme and you have to be okay with it. Share it yourself. <laughs> Increase your followers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, uh, yeah, it's not easy to be in your spot. I mean, when you win, it's all uh, uh, roses, you know, everything is all right and good. When you lose, uh, you know, as you said, it might be a tough spot yeah, to be put in. But for, if you care what people think, I don't give a fuck what other people think. Because most people, they don't do anything with their life. They want to live through you. They want to get on the little keyboards and say stupid shit that they wouldn't say to your face. So I don't care about them. I don't care about anybody but myself. When I go out there, it's an spiritual experience. I am against myself. Nobody can help her. Nobody can help me. I get to know the truth. It's the, it's the realest place in the universe. You cannot lie to yourself or others when you're in there. You can't hide. And I love that. 
because you get to evolve so much. You can make excuses for yourself in an everyday life. You can say, oh, this happened because my childhood, this and that. You can make, you can blame other people. But when you're in there, it's just you. And there's nobody going to come help you except for the ref if you're getting your ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> and then you learn about yourself. You learn what works, what doesn't work. It's heaven for me. I love being in there. Should fans expect uh, any new protest uh, coming from you, Eddie Wiggins, like the, the last time? No, because most people are fucking stupid and they wouldn't get it anyways. Uh, the last time it wasn't about me showing my tits. I don't have tits. It was something very specific that had to do with certain people in charge. However, they own ESPN, so I'm not allowed to say anything about them anyways. Just like most people, they turn uh, they turn a blind eye to what this uh, depraved pedophiles are doing because they get a paycheck and they have a nice shiny little job they don't want to lose. So now I'm on that boat where I don't want to lose my shiny little job and people are dumb. So there's no point in trying to bring anything to their attention. That's fair enough. I won't insist about that. But yeah, uh, I was referring, of course, to your latest weigh-ins. Uh, yeah, at, it was at, at Invicta. Yes, yes. So, yep. Helen, <laughs> bef <laughs> before I let you go, <laughs> do you have any last messages? Uh, no, I just want to tell everybody to tune in. Uh, I just found out that this tournament is a popularity contest. It doesn't matter how well I win. It's about who has more followers and who votes for you. So uh, watch my fight, and if you're impressed about the fight, just try to look beyond the the followers on social media and vote for me if you think my fight was better, not just because you know you know the fighter or whatever. Like be fair when it comes to the voting; that would really help. Helen, best of luck with your upcoming fight. Thank you for giving us a little bit of your time today, and hopefully, I will hear again from you in the future. Awesome. Have a good day. Have a nice one. Bye bye. <laughs>